Hi there, just for sweets here. I am going to make a brown butter cinnamon sugar popcorn as a snack today at work, and I thought I'd share it with you. I got the inspiration from Grandma Cheap Cheap when she did her brown butter on her video uh, last week. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do mine. What I've done is I've popped two bags of popcorn, of microwave popcorn. Feel free to use any flavor you want. You can use plain, lightly salted. Um, they have some kettle corns, they have movie theater, but you're gonna add brown butter to this anyway. So you can choose what you want. But I have two bags of, um, of their light popcorn that I've pre-popped. We also have one stick of butter that we're going to stick in the pan that I have going on medium heat right now, and we're gonna start browning that. You also want to have your cinnamon and sugar ready, which I need to turn that down. I'm gonna slowly melt this. You don't want it to go too fast. Okay, so we're gonna brown our butter. Um, like I said, I have my cinnamon and my sugar, my cinnamon and sugar mixture done already. I've used it in a couple of my videos, and all I do is keep the container and I just make it myself. So have your cinnamon and sugar combined already. And then you're gonna to wanna to have a grocery store um, paper bag. And you'll see what we need that for here soon. So let's go ahead and get our butter browning. I'm gonna go ahead and move this camera so you can see. So you just wanna kinda of stir it around and let that butter start to brown a little bit. And you don't want it on too high because we really don't want it sizzling too much. And if you, you know, if you don't like my method, then watch Grandma Cheap Cheap's method, but we're just gonna brown the butter. It just gives it a little bit of a different flavor. And then while that's browning, we're gonna go ahead and open up our paper bag. Now you wanna make sure you use a grocery store size one. We're gonna open up our two bags of microwave popcorn. They're already popped. Pour those inside the bag. Turn this down. I've got a hot stove, I think. Okay. So we have those all ready to go. It's going to be a good snack at work today. I might have to make a double batch. Put it out for the customers. So we're browning our butter, and you just want to keep stirring it up and let it slowly start to brown. It's a really, really quick snack that you can make. You know, feel free to add, if you want to, you can add like some pecans to it. C cinnamon uh, sugar pecans are really yummy. You can add almonds to it. Walnuts, peanuts, whatever your desire is. It's starting to brown a little bit. We're gonna just keep stirring this up here. We don't, like I said, watch your heat. You don't want it on too high, but you don't want it on too low. Let that start browning. And the reason for the paper bag is what I'm going to do, we're gonna pour this butter over the top. We're gonna roll the bag up and we're gonna stick it in the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, so that we kind of cook that butter into our popcorn. We don't want it ultra greasy. We don't want it to get too soggy. So that extra little zap in the microwave helps bind it to the popcorn and cook it. Let this keep going. It's coming along here. I've made uh, brown or brown butter uh, frosting for cupcakes before. And it's a unique flavor, that's for sure, but it was really good. It was something totally different that I had never done. So then when I saw Grandma Cheap Cheap's video, I thought, wow, that would be really good over popcorn. And she had mentioned it in her video. So I thought, why not? Let's make a video about it. And microwave popcorn is good and it's quick. Now, if you don't, if you don't use microwave popcorn, not a problem either. You know, pop your own popcorn. Just make, you know, maybe a cup or two of popcorn 
and put it, do the same method, put it in the brown paper bag. I have a popcorn machine upstairs and um, sometimes I like to make popcorn in that. I don't always have my microwave popcorn. I kind of go back and forth between the two. So uh, I will use that as well. But that one's, you know, really buttery because it's the, it's not quite movie theater popcorn, but it's, you know, the one out of the little popcorn machines. We like to pop that when we have like parties at our house so people can go up there and, and you can smell the popcorn popping throughout the house. And uh, we do it sometimes if we do like a movie, we, well, we used to do a lot of movie nights or movie days sit up there, watch movies, and eat popcorn. We haven't done that in a while. That actually sounds fun. Okay, our butter is browning quite nicely, I should say. Hopefully you can see that. It's, uh, well, it's kind of hard to tell. It's a little foamy, but it's got a nice brown look to it. I'm gonna let it brown just a tad bit more. Oh, that looks nice. Smells good too. Nothing like a, a cube of butter. Not good for the thighs, but I'll tell you it's good for the palate. Okay, so we've got the brown butter all brown now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add, I'm going to add about a two, let's see, I'm lying, two tablespoons of my cinnamon sugar mixture to the brown butter. I'm going to go ahead and mix that in. So now it really looks brown with the cinnamon in there. And I'm going to kind of let that sugar mix in there with it. It's kind of making like a caramel in a way. A brown butter caramel. Just let that dissolve in there. Keep stirring. It's gonna taste so good. It looks just like a caramel sauce. Just keep stirring that in there. You wanna stir this for about a minute and let that sugar dissolve. So that was one cube of butter and two tablespoons, heaping tablespoons, of our cinnamon sugar mixture after the butter is browned. We've got two bags of popcorn in a brown grocery bag. And we are just letting this mix in. Just keep stirring. Okay, that looks good. It smells really good. Hopefully the people at work like this today. I turned my heat off. I probably should have left it on for a second here. I mean, the, it's already hot, the brown butter, so it's not like we have to, you know, put a lot of heat on it to dissolve that sugar. It'll dissolve pretty easy but on its own. I'm just gonna stir that. It's been over a minute but I turned the heat off. So just make sure you have your heat on low when you're dissolving your sugar. I don't know why I did that. I think I was afraid that my butter was gonna over brown. Because you want the heat to get on there to kind of get those flavors mixed together. Okay. So our brown butter is done. There it is. Still got some sugar. I'm using a wooden spoon in my pan. Okay. Now what we're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to pour it right in with your popcorn. Get all that sugar that's in the pan and pour that in there too. All that yummy brown butter, oh my gosh. People are gonna be in heaven. Okay. We're gonna take our wooden spoon and we're gonna go in there and we're gonna kinda stir this all around. give it a nice light coating of butter, of that brown butter. We want everything to get covered a little bit. OK. 
Okay, and now I'm going to add more cinnamon and sugar to this. Pour it all over the top. Add as much as you like. I'd probably add another good two tablespoons to it. Stir that in there. We're gonna fold this up. It gets a little messy, as you can see. The butter kind of seeps through, but most of that brown butter is all on. It's all on the um, on the popcorn because when we poured it over the top, all that brown butter and everything seeped on the top. But then you get some of the oils, some of those loose oils that go to the bottom. We're gonna get a bowl for this. I have a cute little pink bowl here that I got at the local dollar store. Nice and summery. Let's get this stuff out of the way. to this um, if it was for me personally I would but there's a lot of people that either have nut allergies or don't like nuts and I don't want to send anybody to the hospital today so we're just gonna make a nice cinnamon sugar popcorn for everybody to eat and I'll probably put like little cupcake um, liners out so people can get little cupcake liners full of popcorn Probably need, I actually think that's the perfect size bowl. Get all your kernels out of there, everything's empty. Now I know you wish you could smell and taste this, so that just means you have to make your own. So, get these out of here. So it filled up that bowl nicely. I, if you could see it, I don't know, I'm gonna make sure. But it's got the nice cinnamon sugar the brown butter. I'm going to taste it, see if it needs a little bit more cinnamon sugar on it. Oh my gosh, you totally taste that brown, that brown butter. I am going to add a little bit more cinnamon sugar to this though. You want to be able to taste the cinnamon and sugar. It's a cinnamon sugar popcorn. You don't want it just to taste like butter and salt. And this popcorn already had salt on it. So it is a little bit salty and you get that sweet and salty effect. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and stir that in there. And I hope you make this or hope you try to make this. Make it for movie night. Make it for your kids. Make it for a snack just to have around the house in a bowl. Brown the butter. Uh, watch my video if you don't, if you prefer, if mine's not close enough, watch Grandma Cheap Cheap's video on how to brown the butter. Then come back to mine and you can, <clears throat> sorry, do the steps to the, to the cinnamon and sugar process. Remember, you need one cube of butter, two bags of microwave popcorn, or pop your own popcorn, a cinnamon uh, sugar mixture, a paper bag from the grocery store, and you're good to go. You need a wooden spoon and a bowl to serve it in. So here's our brown butter cinnamon sugar popcorn. I hope you give it a try. Hope you like it. If you like it, please push the like button. That just lets me know that people are watching it and they're enjoying what I'm doing. If you have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see me make, please feel free to, to inbox me or leave a comment. Um, I hope you have a great day and get cooking with us. We'd love it. And I would love a video response as well. So I hope you have a great day and we'll see you soon. God bless.